A new fall sport brings a new meaning to game day. The new eSports team at the Annie Fisher STEM Magnet School is kicking off its first season in the new eSports lab. The goal is to introduce students to a future in technology. Wait, wait, be the same color as us. Be the same color as us. You don't need cleats or a helmet on this sports team. Right, hold on, who's playing? But you do need a controller and master sitting in an official gaming chair. It truly is so innovative and really just lays a foundation for the future innovation here at STEM. Thanks to a grant from the Greater Hartford Regional School Choice Office, the eSports lab at the Annie Fisher STEM Magnet School looks like a scene from every gamer's dream. It's built with state-of-the-art monitors, gaming systems, and TVs, all for the Hartford School's first eSports team. A group of middle school students will compete locally and even nationally in popular video games like Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, and NBA 2K. I always wanted to like compete in like sports and like that. So since our schools like had this opportunity and I'm like, wait, I could actually like play a sport to like win and try to like have fun. Not only do students have a chance to compete for a team, they can also set themselves up for a future in the e-gaming world. There's a lot of college money, like scholarships given out to students. So if they can start learning these skills here, it puts them you know, ahead of the game and the rest of the team. Nathan Joseph, a sixth grader on the team, says the sport provides him with new opportunities and experience in STEM. I could like find a good college so, so I can like play video games there, try to like become the very best. I think it's good to like f try to find like a sport you like to play and stuff because like it could like build character and like help you like with your social life and stuff like that. The players meet every day to practice and learn strategies and different techniques. Coach Eliason Robles says the educational aspects go beyond just their fingertips. Just like any sport, right? They're learning teamwork, teamwork, strategizing. Um, even STEM experts are looking at the math behind the game, they keep the records, the statistics. You can learn, the, like I said, teamwork, hard work, loss, right? how to win like, like an athlete, how to lose like an athlete, right? Students are making friends and furthering their passions, something Principal Aaron Wilson Ruff is excited to see continue to grow. They're asking for each other's phone numbers. They're sharing like tips, codes, all this fun stuff with gaming. They're asking to hang out after school. So I just, I love that component too. Um, their attendance is absolutely amazing. They're thriving in their classrooms. As the team continues to dominate the games, their eyes are certainly on the prize. There's a star. We are the most competitive um, people here at STEM, so we're in it to win it. The team is gearing up for their first match against other middle schools across the area happening in the near future. In Hartford, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.